Hey guys, we we're working on the bike trailer here. Uh, here's the axle. Uh, I noticed something. If you take like a threaded rod, you can replace that whole axle. It's the same diameter. It's about half an inch. Like a tiny bit less than half an inch. Uh, same as this one here. This is from a basketball net. And uh, what I noticed though, uh, I have this uh, carriage bolt, which is looks also the same diameter, thread and everything. But I couldn't get a nut any of these nuts to fit on neither this thing here so um, I, I couldn't figure it out for a minute there uh, but it was just the threads are damaged uh, so what I did is I grinded it so that it's uh, like a 45 degree angle and I, I took like a file and I was chasing the threads so I was basically put a triangular file into the thread and I unscrewed it I just did that like two three times to get rid of the damage inside the threads and uh, then it it started uh, just threading on like perf uh, perfectly uh, onto all these uh, nuts so uh, it goes in perfectly now because uh, I was starting to think that it's the wrong size uh, or pitch of the thread or something but this this is all these all have the same th uh, thread so uh, you can use carriage bolts or, or threaded uh, threaded rod. It's it's the same thing, and then you can uh, build an axle. It'll actually be stronger than this because they cut a slot for the the C clip. Uh, so that that's what uh, weakens it. That's where the uh, one of my axles actually was bent for some reason when I found it. Uh, uh, so th that's gonna uh, weaken the axle by cutting that slot there. Um, so uh, you can just take your, your bearings, if you're uh, working on an axle here, and just slide it over this basketball thing, and then you can make your own custom axle uh, for your uh, your trailer, instead of using the, the quick release if you want. But these quick release are very useful, you don't need any tools to take it apart. Okay guys, thanks for watching.